Thank you so much, Tori, and the women of the foundation for having me. So my name is Anna Mushraf. I think the story of gender biases and racial discrimination should be an old one now. I really wish it was. I grew up as an American-born Muslim woman in a post-9-11 world. That probably doesn't mean a lot to you unless if you've experienced it personally. Being raised with a different type of mindset, I got married at a fairly young age because that's what I thought was the right thing to do. It was a weak and a complicated marriage, and I felt that the universe had stronger plans for me. I accepted the fact that when I divorced, I would become uh, an outcast from my community, which is what happened. Despite that challenge, I found that life and its sweet trickery soon revealed its other plans. Shortly after my divorce, I was offered an opportunity to work in Germany, which changed my life yet again. In settling in abroad for the first time, I realized how absolutely American I was and am. Wearing a hijab, many people only saw an Auslander or an outcast, someone that wasn't like them. I couldn't even begin to imagine who people thought I was. I just missed going to Trader Joe's and going to the Starbucks drive-thru just like anybody else. It was the little things. In addition to skewed perceptions, the experiences that I had working in a primarily male-dominated environment really knocked the wind out of me sometimes. Sometimes we realize that there are just people that don't realize that they don't know better. I've come to learn that there's great opportunity in that. I started a small organization called U4 Social. It's a social growth community focusing on developing better skills, networks, and knowledge for women. With U4, I work as a coach, facilitator, journalist, with a number of organizations helping to develop and equip and elevate women. The grit that I've, that I've had to gain sometimes dims the characteristically optimistic sparkle in my eyes. But I do, however, believe that I'm building and I'm toning strong muscles for myself to show people that with diplomacy, poise, and clever kindness, that we must treat each other better. We must act as better humans and be and see beyond our outer shells. And we must communicate with heart. I've learned that the hard way, and as it is with all hard lessons, we tend to not let ourselves forget them. Thank you.